What's up, everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I have a pretty fun announcement. Tomorrow, I'm going to be playing in a cash money skins match sponsored by Greatest Media Team. Got the invita invitation today. It's kind of a last minute thing. So I figured I'd come out to Hornet's Nest, kind of get my bag together a bit here. Um, the first shot was the F5. The second shot was a Climo T-Bird. Trying out a few new discs over the last month or so, but I really want to use today's round to try and get the bag dialed in because I think there's like 500 bucks on the line at least tomorrow. So I want to make sure I go out, perform and play my best. I have a 0% chance of hitting anybody. Swing. It would also be good during the skins match to be able to knock down at least one or two circle two putts during the day. <sighs> Just like that. That would be a money making putt right there. And I'm not sure how many of you guys have ever played skins before, but basically the play style of a skins match, you really just want to go for broke on every single hole, every single shot. You want to try and go for the eagle. You want to try and go for the birdie. You want to try and go for the throw-ins. And there may be a little bit of other strategies that come in along the way, um, but the aggressive play style and the person that's going to be able to execute the aggressive shot is going to be the person that brings home the money at the end of the day. A disc that's been absolutely money for me lately has been this PFN Echo Star X-Cal. It's been my main like stable forehand driver, and I feel like it's something I can really count on. Just for any kind of stable shot, just like that. That's a great get out of jail shot right there. And to my understanding, I'll be playing against two other pro players. Um, I myself, I do play in the MPO division. I consider myself on the very low end of pro players. Um, I've gotten a couple of C tier wins, but nothing too crazy. My peak rating was around 970, 965. Um, so I'm gonna be playing probably two players that are historically a lot better than me and then one local player that I know absolutely nothing about. So it's gonna be a really fun challenge to see if I can come out and execute. And even just coming away with a few skins would be a really rewarding experience for me because I will be playing against a pretty high caliber company. So after those two distance drivers to round out my distance driver lineup, I'll be throwing the Tantrum, I'll be throwing that Echo Star X caliber, and then I also have a Fission Photon in the bag, which any holes right around 330 where I want to throw basically as hard as I can flat, that fission photon is like the perfect disc. So maybe I don't want to have as much skip or as much push as a full distance driver. I feel like that photon ties my distance driver lineup together really nicely. And hole five is going to be a great opportunity to test out my two main mid ranges that I'll be throwing in the skins match. I've got the James Conrad Detour and the MVP Axiom Paradox. Uh, they're both on the more understable side, but the detour is definitely a lot more stable than the paradox. But this is a great hole to just really remember how they're supposed to fly. Apparently, that's directly into a tree, unfortunately. And then this paradox is almost like a trick shot disc. It's so understable. But those are two mid-ranges I'm really happy with, and I enjoy throwing both of them a lot. And I expect them both to get a good amount of use tomorrow. The Paradox is a pretty unconventional mid. I don't feel like a lot of pro players bag it. But for me, my play style, I like to have 100% confidence that if I want my disc to flip, I've got something that I know is going to flip. That's where the F5 comes in. That's where the Paradox comes in. Anything super understable in my bag, I just love having something I know I can throw in the air, get it to move from left to right. Not only is this a super fun shot, but it's super handy to have when you need it. Got a North Carolina delicacy right here. All the locals say that these type of snakes eat the poisonous snakes, so apparently that's my friend. I think hole six is gonna be a shot that I need to throw a lot tomorrow which is where this fission photon comes in. Something I can just hammer pretty much as hard as I can flat or on a slight hyzer, but then have a nice controlled fade at the end. 
I don't want it to turn too much. I really just want it to push straight for as long as possible and then always finish over to the left. And that is like absolutely ideal. That's definitely gonna be in the circle. Fission Photon is an undefeated disc. If you've never tried one out, I would definitely go check one out for yourself. And just like that, you can lose your $500 right there. In fact, in the last skins match I played, I did that exact thing from about eight feet. And I think I missed out on $300. So our goal tomorrow is to not do that. Another shot that I used to throw a lot that I think needs to go back into the bag is forehanding with a seven speed. I think a lot of people don't really do this. I think most people are forehanding either their really overstable mid or their nine speed but it's pretty underrated to just get a good stable Explorer, T-Bird, any like 7502-ish disc and just trust it nice and flat. You're gonna get good distance. You're gonna get a nice skip over to the right. Oh, hit the last branch, but that was a really nice looking shot. We hit this very last branch. That was a shot that was destined for greatness. Oh. All right, off the pole. It's a good line, needs a lot more height. Oh, I missed the line by a hair, but it was flying to absolute perfection. Fortunately, I found my orange berg. I thought I lost it forever, but we have somehow found it. So even on bad tee shots, there's still gonna be a birdie opportunity via the berg forehand throw in. I expect to get at least one or two of those tomorrow. This is gonna be our last hole of the day. Man, I love the detour. Absolutely parked, sitting under the bucket. Detour's fire. So I'm glad I came out today to practice a few shots, um, especially the, all that Latitude 64 stuff. I really wanted to see how the Saint Pro compared to the Firebird. I wanted to see how the Bolt compared to the time lapse. And I want to see how the Trident also compared to the Firebird. Um, I think they're all going to make the bag. And then when you're, you're just doing what you can to try and score well, and you're going to throw what you think is the best disc at the time, you want to give yourself as little room for error as possible. Sometimes having a few more discs in the bag can help you do that. And sometimes it can make it more confusing. So hopefully we don't make too many mistakes tomorrow, but we'll see the front nine on the Greatest Media Team channel, which I'll link in the description down below. Then we'll see the back nine here on Iceberg TV. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a like. We'll see you guys in the next video and take care.